will not relaunch until everything has been fully tested. And uh, we want to make sure that this next launch has no issues, that we don't have to hit the pause button again, and that everything is fully prepared for scaling. So we've got some great news in that uh, the integration is done. In fact, uh, we were testing today, logging into the demo accounts and testing the referral links and uh, everything is in the process of being completely uh, integrated uh, as well. So that's great to see everything working, to see the platform working. Uh, we do want to make sure that we complete the security testing on our end, as well as the stress testing. Uh, it's just very, very important that there's no possibilities of unnecessary things happening uh, when we open up and, and relaunch. And so we've talked to a lot of the top leaders and uh, I love, Edward, what you said earlier that the, the many of the leaders at, at their, Ilya, you said as well, many of the leaders have reached out and said, we don't want a 3.0. We don't, we don't want to go through the issue of, you know, 2.0, we, we launch and five days later, we're shutting everything down to, to, to wait again. Uh, we want to make sure that we absolutely 100% uh, nail this this next relaunch and that everything is working fluidly. I want to you know make sure everyone understands what a what a major task uh, that the development team has undergone. We've got uh, multiple different development teams that are working on each component of the platform to solve the the two problems that we had in in the uh, in the first few days of launch, and it was a heavy it's a heavy job. Uh, it, it it required some brilliant uh, ingenuity and uh, the ability to integrate smart contracts and, and, and uh, uh, spread the workload from one uh, smart contract to multiple contracts working together. Uh, it was a brilliant accomplishment. And so uh, we're excited about phase two because when we hit this next relaunch, uh, it's gonna be unprecedented momentum. I mean, I, I was thinking back to the first five days after we launched and I was just, I was just remembering what was happening and Guys, if you remember, within a couple of hours of the launch, the system was not acting right. And we still had 50,000 members join Daisy in the first five days. It got to the point where 90% of transactions were not even processing on the blockchain. They were timing out. And still tens of thousands of transactions were, were pushing through the system. And we broke every record uh, in this industry. I mean, uh, even with Endotech, guys, I mean, to, to, to think that already there's close to $30 million in the DAISY fund that's moving into the markets uh, and, 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 and those profit rewards coming back to the community. We did that together in five days with a broken platform. And that's just extraordinary uh, what's taken place to have already reached the first 10% of the $10 million raise for uh, the development of, of Daisy AI for Endotech. We accomplished that together in five days. I mean, guys, this has never been done before in the industry. Hey, my cat wants to say hi to everybody. This is Orange, very creative name. Yeah. Hi, Orange. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's, a, she's a drama queen. She wants to be on camera. So, so you know, we... we we know that we have, we've already done what has never been done before. We've, we, we've proven that the momentum and the vision behind DAISY, the community of leaders behind DAISY, all of you watching right now, this is historic. This is history in the making. And now we have to execute and deliver with 100% excellence in the marketplace. And so when we turn the websites on, and everything goes live, guys, you're going to see it all. You're going to see the, the, the updated trading reports in your back office in real time. You're going to see everything on the Daisy crowd side. All the reports will be working. All the mechanisms will be working properly. And there'll be no glitches. Uh, hundreds of thousands of members will be able to join uh, in, in, in a matter of days. And the system will, will be able to now handle that. So it, it, it was a big undertaking and uh, the team has done it. It's developed, it's integrated. And now we are finalizing the testing to make sure that there are no issues or no concerns that we're going to have three days after we open the doors again. So, you know, for, for us, it's, you know, we wanted to be able to launch in the next 24 hours, but without any shadow of a doubt, the commitment is we're not going to launch, open the doors again 
until everything has been tested by the third party. We have three third party companies that are testing each component of the platform right now. And we just want to make sure that there's absolutely no issues that were missed in the development phase that could end up uh, causing another slowdown in the future. So we just want to hit, hit the streets with momentum, with massive momentum, with no more platform issues. And we're going to take zero risk of the platform not being 100% ready. So it's a good thing. Sometimes you have to slow down to speed up. I was talking with Edward in Ilya last night, and we said, you know, it's kind of like when the Wright brothers created flight for the first time. And, you know, they, they had that first successful flight, and it was successful in their, right? because for them, it was the first time. And it wasn't, they didn't fly around the world, they didn't fly around the country, they didn't fly across the city. They flew from one side of a field to the other side of the field. They flew whatever it was, 100 yards. But it was a tremendous victory because they realized, okay, it's possible. And then they had to go back and retweak their airplane so that next time it could have a full flight. And I feel like that, that's what we did with Daisy. We took flight. We showed the world that the digital market, that the financial technology market, that the decentralized platform is the future of many industries. And in five days, we took flight and we broke every single record in this industry. We did what's never been done before, but it wasn't a long flight. We flew to the other side of the field. And, and then the team had to come back together and say, now let's create the jet. Let's create the, the rocket ship and let's fix the issue so that, so that next time we take flight, we take flight and we're going all the way to the moon. So Edward and Ilya, what are your guys's, you know, thoughts and feelings on everything? We got... Looks like, you know, almost 3,000 people on the webinar right now that are, you know, here for the update and, you know, what's, uh, what's on your guys' minds tonight? Ilya, Edward, you maybe you, you start first. I, I, no, go ahead. Okay, okay. Well, uh, I believe, Jeremy, we are on the same page. I believe uh, we're talking to leaders on the daily basis, so we know that uh, it takes patience, actually, for everything to happen. So let's uh, stay patient because, I mean, we're talking about extra few days, uh, but uh, with no DAISY 3.0 situation, right? So we don't want to launch just for a few days and then it will repeat again. So this is why it's extremely important for us. This is why, why we, we actually invited a few more uh, technical teams uh, to check what is happening right now. So we're not just working with a regional team of developers uh, so that we have extra layer of security, right? So it's super important for us everything will happen uh, properly, uh, that uh, there will be no situation with referral link <laughs> like the last time. So that we <laughs> launch and then no, no, but nobody can nobody can copy paste referral link or something, right? So there is no situation that the website goes down. There is no situation that uh, it takes a lot of energy or gas. Uh, and uh, I believe, Jeremy, we, we can tell them even right now that yeah, the gas, have, the yeah, energy we, is yeah, going to be much, numbers, much yeah. smaller. Yes, yes. Yeah. So actually, yes, we, we, are, uh, we were able actually to... to, to uh, solve this issue with gas, with energy. So we, all we need to do is just to finalize all the testing and it takes time. And I know we all want it to happen faster, but uh, I mean, really, uh, we just need to wait a few more days. And uh, yeah, uh, and the great, news is, the great news is the platform is, li is live and working in the test phase. So, you know, it's, yes, yes. in the test accounts, we, we, you can log in, you can, you know, you can buy your packs, everything's working. We've, we've tested it at low levels, but it's very, very important that we test it now for capacity, that we that we uh, really push the limits to test the platform uh, to make sure that we don't have uh, this issue again. So um, anyway, that's uh, that's it. So yeah, Ilya, like you said on the gas on the energy fees, right? This is awesome. Like we were watching before the energy fees were starting to hit, you know, 150 tron towards 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 the the, the end of those four or five days per transaction. So the uh, the energy fees are now between. 15 to 30 Tron per transaction. And this is maxed out. This is maxed out with all 10 generations and everything full. Uh, uh, it's very, very low energy fees. So um, yeah, this is huge, right? I mean, this is, you know, just little things like this are, are, are big. Uh, the pay setter bonus. So I guess we could talk a little bit about maybe some things that yep. you guys can yep. expect uh, with the new platform. So the pay setter bonus, instead of it paying out instantly to your wallet, it's going to pay out instantly to the pool. And then every pay setter, you can withdraw your share of the pool 
anytime. So you can withdraw it anytime, you know, every minute, every hour, every day. Uh, you'll see you'll see your balance increasing and you'll click a button and you can withdraw those funds at any day. So that'll be one change that will take place. Um, it was there was this is one of the reasons we were having the timeout with the pay setters was all those calculations were paying out instantly to all of the pay setters. So one of the changes we've made is we've created a pay setter smart contract. The, the pay setter funds will go immediately to that smart contract. And from your back office, you can withdraw your pay setter uh, uh, bonus pool at any time. Uh, so that's one of the one of the changes. Um, everything else stays the same. Nothing else. You won't see any other changes uh, other than the, the, the reporting. You'll see the new uh, pay setter leadership reporting in your back office. You'll see a, an updated pay setter pool uh, in your back office. Um, other than that, the process will stay the same. Uh, there's no no changes there uh, that, that you'll see on your end everything will continue the same, so. Yes, right. Another thing, guys, uh, while we waiting for this uh, on a technical side for smart contract to get work, on an endotech side, the funds are working. Uh, we actually have a trade right now, uh, shorting uh, trade Bitcoin, shorted from 34,000 something, so it's a little profit. It's a small percentage, but uh, if there's going to be a good opportunity, AI is working. Uh, so that part, not to worry, people. Uh, your your funds are not just sitting and frozen. They're not. If there's opportunity, we're not going to miss miss out on opportunity. That's another uh, just to keep in mind. Yeah, but like we cover, we touch this topic many many times actually on the trading side, and uh, uh, it's important to understand that. You cannot expect here trading happening on daily basis or weekly basis, right? So the, the trades positions can can only be open when the market is ready, right? So when the market either go, goes up or goes down, it's very important to understand. Sometimes it takes two to three weeks actually to start trading. Sometimes it sometimes the trading happens a few times in a month. So it's not high frequency trading, just to just to make everything clean so that everybody understands how it's working. But uh, in the meantime, uh, just like Edward said, so we have some positions open, which is a good news. And the market is extremely difficult right now. I mean, nobody knows what's going to happen. So Dr. Anna, she always stays on the conservative side because it's uh, the highest priority is to keep our capital and uh, to make sure that nobody loses the funds. This is the highest priority for, for the company, for Endotech. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, so, you know, what I'm, what I'm what we're focused on right now and everybody should be focused on is getting ready to launch. Like tomorrow, for example, we're doing webinars all day long for different leaders, right? Different leaders are setting up webinars with their teams the next 24 to 48 hours to start to get the presentation out again, get the vision out again, uh, because we're, 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 we're literally this close. I mean, we could get the call any any hour now, any day now. Uh, that every that, that we have the full green light to launch the platform. So uh, we're literally that close um, to to being able to go live. So right now it's time to really prepare for that and uh, uh, you know get ready for that relaunch. Uh, we're going to see people come in. I believe this. I believe there's going to be people that join the Daisy project that weren't a part of the initial launch, who in the first five days of relaunch will outperform the success stories we saw in the first five days. So I think there's going to be brand new people join that actually produce bigger results than anyone has seen in the first five days of our launch. So I think the relaunch is going to really be where the, 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 the big stories and the big leaders in the market, we're going to see, we're going to see who's really, really all about Daisy. Phase, phase yeah, two is where that's going to, going to shake down. Everybody agrees with that. Everyone knows that uh, this second one is going to be a lot bigger than the first one. So we'll have new records. Uh, and Jeremy, uh, we will uh, notify people. We'll give them plenty enough time, right? Having an yeah. hour should be. Yeah, yeah we've had you know we've had leaders even saying you, uh, you guys were mentioning tonight that that somebody's even saying, hey, give us forty eight hours instead of just a twenty four hour notice. Give us forty eight hours. So it'll be somewhere between twenty four to forty eight hours. We'll we we'll to see you know you know once we we, we want to make sure everyone has plenty of time to prepare. At the same time, I think everyone is preparing right now. So we, we also want, we want to get back to the market as fast as possible too, right? So, you know, if, for example, in the next 24 hours, uh, we, we have our final tech calls and all the teams give us green light, green light, green light. And we say, okay, we're ready. 
you know, then at that point within the next, we'll, we'll make an announcement and, and you'll have at least 24, maybe all the way up to 48 hours uh, before we actually open up the back office again. So um, yeah, so 24 to 48 hours notice. So you don't have to worry. Am I going to miss it? Am I going to miss it? We're going to give you at least 24 hours notice uh, before we actually launch. You'll know when we're launching. So yeah, that's something you can count on 100%. You don't have to worry about missing. Yes. <clears throat> and also we are working on, on, on the PowerPoints because we are global. So we have leaders from multi multiple countries. So I believe in the, in the next few days, we'll be able to release uh, 13 or 14 uh, PowerPoints in 13 or 14 languages, major languages, uh, with uh, updated information. So actually, I mean, nothing new is going to be there. Everybody knows exactly what is, I mean, what is, how the pay plan is working. Uh, so maybe we'll be able to touch some topics on the metrics sides that we have like 10 metrics we have compression. So a few things like that. So maybe we'll keep editing those presentations. It's extremely important, right? For everybody to, to understand how exactly the pay plan is working and what, what, what it is all about, right? The concept and, and, and the pay plan. So uh, now we just have, uh, we have updated PowerPoint in English. I believe all leaders have access to it. So, so we, we go from there, we, we translate into multiple languages. Awesome. Good. And then the 10 minute videos available at uh, the same website you guys went to tonight, uh, daisycrowd.com. Uh, you can download it or share it. Uh, there's, I don't know, I think it's 300,000 or 400,000 views now so far of people that have watched, uh, watched that video around the world. So that's exciting. Very exciting. So that's available in, in uh, multiple languages as well. So we're excited. Uh, let's. Uh, we got a lot of work to do. Uh, we're going to be up, uh, you know, the next few hours for me, you know for me and Ed. We'll be overnight uh, uh, getting some things done, and then all day tomorrow. So uh, we're doing everything we can on our end, and we've got the best of the best teams that are finalizing uh, everything right now. So um, that's the update, guys, for tonight. Um, anything else, Edward? That Ilya and I missed. Oh, just uh, excited. Uh, really busy. Uh, exciting times and. Almost ready. Just like you said, we're this close, ready to close. announce. Stay this tuned close. for announcement, yeah. Yeah, I'll stay tuned, yes. And we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Awesome. Right. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Okay, thank you, everybody. Thank you.